Welcome back. Good to have you here once again for Ozarks Tonight. I'm David Oliver. We've certainly seen uh, efforts in recent years to get more people to get into downtown Springfield, whether it be through a business, maybe a restaurant, or even living downtown. We're going to be talking about this now regularly on a monthly basis here on Ozarks Tonight about efforts that are happening and events happening in downtown Springfield. I've got Rusty Worley with the Downtown Springfield Association as my guest today. Good to see you, Rusty. I've seen you for a long time, yes. so you've been around forever with downtown. Let's remind our viewers, before we get into some of the events coming up, what exactly is the Downtown Springfield Association? It's been around almost 54 years. Yes, uh, it's a merchant organization that was founded in 1965. Um, it was uh, founded uh, in preparation for the suburban flight that happened back in the 60s and 70s, and mm -hmm. so the business owners there uh, saw the writing on the wall. They saw the Battlefield Mall that was coming, and so mm -hmm. they banded together, and they've been working together to promote downtown and to support its existing businesses, and then to attract new investment uh, for over 50 years. And so um, those are the things we carry on today with our team. And um, we're really proud of the businesses that we have downtown, the new activity, the the residents, the offices are coming downtown, and then the, the parties that we throw downtown mm -hmm. almost every month, it sure. seems like. You know, I think when people go downtown, at least myself, I, I marvel at things that are changing downtown, uh, mm -hmm. you know, maybe if you don't get down there much and you go every now and then, you, you see a lot of things happening down there that maybe we don't realize. Yeah, and that's a big part of our community events is to have something to draw um, the residents back so they see mm -hmm. the, the changes that are here. And many will remember uh, downtown when they were growing up mm -hmm. or in the, the low days of the 80s and 90s. But to get them to come back uh, for events like Taste of Somo or the Route 66 Festival, the Christmas Parade, mm -hmm. those are ways for them to see, wow, uh, things are different. We're all creatures of habit. We kind of get caught in our normal normal routines, but if we break out of that, we see what, what's happening. You know, and, and before we talk about some events that are happening down there, the, the push to get people to live downtown. You mm -hmm. know, I've been here 15 years plus, and I feel like you've been down there just as long as I've been here. I've, you've been around forever with the DSA, but there's been a real push to get people to move into some loft spaces downtown. Mm -hmm. Other uh, living venues have popped up. Talk about that. Sure. We have over uh, 800 lofts, and those are where you have commercial space in the lower level, and then uh, uh, apartments above mm -hmm. uh, over 800 plus we've had 2,500 uh, beds of student housing developed uh, over the last eight years in addition to that we have a, a major student housing project that's going to open this fall uh, right there at Walnut and Jefferson mm -hmm. it's called the view mm -hmm. and uh, it will have 348 beds right there at Jefferson and Walnut and then uh, we we see other projects that are in the development stage as well so uh, more and more folks are finding their way here we've got a great base of uh, empty nesters who mm -hmm. reside downtown in places like 400 place in the, the wheelers lofts mm -hmm. um, in um, uh, buildings along Olive uh, Street. So those folks have been there now for, uh, many of them, yeah. almost 10 years. And sure. so they have really enjoyed the, the downtown lifestyle. I've got a coworker here at Color 10. She and uh, and, and her, uh, her uh, boyfriend live downtown, and I see them posting pictures all the time. It looks pretty fun. Big event coming up this weekend, Taste of Somo in downtown. What is that all about? Yes, we have 30 restaurants and food trucks downtown on Park Central Square. The tasting is going to go from one to five and again uh, you'll get to sample uh, these restaurant um, appetizers and, and entrees from all over the the city we expanded it from taste of Springfield a few years ago to taste of Somo to try to, to get a few more restaurants and we've got a restaurant from Ozark coming in we've got a, a food truck from Branson coming mm -hmm. in and so we're really excited in addition to that we've got great local live music and we've got Dallas Jones kicking it off we've got a jazz uh, combo that's mm -hmm. there and then um, we've got the Flood Brothers, aptly named for this season. Mm -hmm. uh, the Flood Brothers are coming in from uh, Columbia, and they're sure. really popular. And then we'll have chef's panels. We'll have a couple of chef's panels. We have uh, 
um, on Park Central East, family friendly kids activities. They're designed um, to promote uh, things that are happening at the Discovery Center, Jordan Valley Community Health Center, mm -hmm. Boys and Girls Club, the Downtown Y, just uh, some good family friendly activities. Sure. Uh, and when is that event? It's, it's this weekend. It's this Saturday, this Saturday. Uh, June 22nd at okay. Park Central Square. Again, the tasting goes from 1 to 5, live music, the beer, and the food trucks will continue till 7 p.m. How are you getting 30 food trucks on the square? That's what I want to know. Well, um, it's going to be tricky, I would imagine. <laughs> we we uh, have 25 of those are restaurant booths okay. and five are food so trucks. Booths, not the actual trucks down there. Okay. Yeah. You know, just and speaking of restaurants, obviously the restaurant uh, side has been an important key in downtown revitalization. We've got a number of restaurants that have been down there for many years. I would imagine that's been probably instrumental in trying to get people to come back down there and get folks to stay down there. Absolutely. Um, as you look at downtown revitalization across the country, the art scene and the culture scene is one that leads it, but restaurants and nightlife is mm -hmm. the other. And we have 60 restaurants downtown. We have 20 pubs and clubs, mm -hmm. and that helps really fuel our authenticity. It's, it's what makes Springfield different because most of these are local uh, restaurants. And mm -hmm. so you get tastes, um, just had lunch today at Springfield Brewing Company, and it's mm -hmm. been, it was one of the early pioneers. It's been there for over 20 years. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we're excited, but we've got new tastes popping up. We've got seven restaurants and two new food trucks okay. that will be brand new. This is the 13th year for Taste of Somo. So okay. it's not as storied as Arts Fest or Cider Days, but it's uh, really grown in its yeah. tradition. And I so bet you have a good crowd this weekend again. Taste of uh, Somo. Coming up this weekend on the square there in downtown Springfield. It's 1 to 4, you said, on Saturday? 1 to 5. 1 to 5 o'clock on Saturday. And if you want more information, folks can go to your website. It's alldowntown.com. That's right. Absolutely. Rusty Worley with the Downtown Springfield Association. We're going to have you in monthly to let folks know what's happening downtown. And I appreciate you coming in today. Thank you so much. Okay, Look thank you so much, too. We'll have more Ozarks tonight after this quick break.